And I got my Greek mother, boy, the guilt train. I don't care, Jewish, uh, Iranian, Persian, fuck nothing, man. Greek mothers wrote the book of guilt. <laughs> like a lifesaver, my mother. My mom lives in Montreal. She flies in to visit me in LA. Her flight gets into LAX a half hour early. A gust of wind. I don't know. Something happens. I'm stuck in traffic. This is the phone call I get from the airport. Hi, Angela. It's your mother. I'm at the airport. If you don't want to come pick me up, it's okay. I'll just walk. Maybe you found another mother? Okay, bye. I'm coming, I'm stuck in traffic! If I don't call my Greek mother every two or three days, guess what? She's calling me! These are the messages she leaves me. Hi, Angela. This is your mother. You remember I give birth to you? I know you're busy with your career. I would have had the career too if I didn't have to raise three bastard children like you. <sighs> okay. Call me back if I'm still alive. Right? Call me back if I'm still alive! <laughs> I gotta tell you, it's so funny. I remember going to school though. Good thing about being Greek, I had lunch, man, lunch. I couldn't trade my big fat Greek lunch for your little shitty ham and cheese, peanut butter and jam lunch. I had lunch, moussaka, taramusalata, spanakopita, dolmades, soundtrack to the bazooki, flask of boozle, glasses, dishes, fuck it, we're gonna smash everything, we're Greek! Yeah! We eat, we drink, we screw! I traded with the other ethnic kids. I traded with the Italian kid, Nunzio. <laughs> you see Nunzio in the schoolyard? He'd be like this. <laughs> I just looked at you like this. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> Nunzio was tough. He was connected. Even his imaginary friends were in the witness protection program. <laughs> he said, hey, Lunz, you got, hey, Nunz, you got a lunch? I got a lunch. How about a little trade? He'd be like, <sighs> I got cannelloni. I got grappa and biscuit. <laughs> it's better be a good trade. Are you never gonna see Reese's, capiche? <laughs> capiche. I never traded with the East Indian kids. That chicken tandoori in your mouth, <laughs> out your fucking ass right away. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I go, I don't know, I thought I chewed it. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> it's Star Trek chicken, that's what it is. It flew out of my ass. I never traded with the Chinese kids. After first period, you're hungry again. <laughs> Fuck him. I mean, that was his name. Fuck him. <laughs> yeah. Being the Greeks, eh? Huh? So funny. There's three things in life that are inevitable. Death, taxes, and Greek music will always speed up. Remember that. I got my uncle. My uncle's funny. My uncle Stavros. Yeah, he looks at me and he goes, okay, listen. Don't forget, I don't know what bullshit you do. You go tell jokes and I think you work for CIA. He thinks I work for the CIA. <laughs> I'm a comedian. Yeah, okay, you're a comedian. Okay, sure. Yeah, okay. You go, what, you tell jokes, they pay you? Yeah. You think I was born tonight, last night? Huh? <laughs> No, I don't think you were born tonight, last night. That's right. I was not born tonight, last night. Okay. Salami bitch. Okay. You remember, you go tell these jokes to the people. Like you tell them what the Greeks, they do for the world. Eh? You remember the, to tell the Greeks what they do for the world. Like what? Like what? Like the Greeks invent democracy. Yeah. And the Greeks invent the philosophy. Yeah. And the Greeks invent the Olympics. Mm-hmm. And don't forget to tell them the most important thing ever. What? The Greeks invent the sex. <laughs> I go, you're right. But thank God it was the Italians who introduced it to women.
We made it fashionable. We made it fashionable. The Greeks got upset. Remember the movie Alexander? Remember they got pissed off because they portrayed, Oliver Stone portrayed Alexander as a raging homosexual. That was one tough fag. <laughs> he ran the free world. I didn't have a problem with that. So what, he's gay, big deal, gay, so what? That didn't bother me. I didn't know Alexander was Irish. <laughs> Did you see the movie Colin Farrell, the king of Macedonia, Greece? First, we must go with me, Finn. We're gonna go with me, men. To Babylon, Mesopotamia, Persia as we know it. But first, me men are thirsty. <laughs> we'll stop at O'Reilly's, have a point. <laughs> what the fuck was that? The king of Greece was Irish? <laughs> casting, Oliver, casting! <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the story. There's something that happens to the Greeks, it's a phenomena. It's called the evil eye. We have a thing called evil eye. Now what the evil eye is, is when someone pays you a compliment, but doesn't mean it. They give you the eye, 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 eye. And the evil eye, I believe in this, it's in our religion. You get like dizzy and you can't see straight and you get headaches. I swear to God, this happens. This happens. I'm on a flight. I was going to Chicago to do a gig on an American Airlines flight, and I ran into my mom's friend at the airport, the one that puts the eye. And she's the, you know those women, what are you doing? Where do you live? How much do you make? How come you're not married? Are you gay? Are you single? What's going on? And then she said this to me, it looks like you lost some weight. Fuck no, I haven't lost weight. Eye, 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 eye. She said I lost weight. Eye, 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 I haven't lost weight. I'm getting on the airplane, I can feel my head, the tension. My eyes are cross-eyed, I can't see straight, I got a headache, I got mati, I got eye, eye. Now there's a dehexing, you gotta learn it. One day you're in Greece in the monastery, you go there, a woman tells a man, a man tells a woman, and it's a, a dehexing, and it takes this eye spell off. I know how to do it, because I learned. So I'm on the airplane taking the hex off. And there's this woman, boing, looking at me. She says, what's wrong with you? <laughs> she says, what? what? Your eye? I go, I, I have the evil eye. My head's going to explode. <laughs> the woman, all she heard was evil, explode. Bang, she hits the flight attendant button. This guy's going to explode. He's evil, evil, evil. I go, no, I'm not. I have the eye, eye, eye. <laughs> the guys come over and go, sir, what's wrong with you? I go, I have the evil eye. Um... I'm like, um, what? Well, what happens is somebody pays you a compliment and they don't mean it, then there's like, you get this mati, it's evil, eye, and your head kind of, your eyes cross, and you, you get a headache, and then you gotta go to Greece to the monastery, and the woman tells you how to do the dehexing, you gotta do the dehexing, you go, sir, come with us, come with us. <laughs> come with us, there's a room, there's rubber on the walls, come inside here. I'm sitting there, how do, how do I explain the evil eye? to Dwight from Oklahoma. <laughs> so they're about to arrest me and the guy looks right at me and goes, you have anything else to say? I said, yeah, nice haircut, makes you look thin. <laughs> I put the eye. <clears throat> I almost choked. That happened to me once at a comedy club. I was trying to be cool, there's a cute girl in the front row, they bought me a shooter, Sicilian kiss. I downed the shooter, went down the wrong pipe, I start fucking choking. They're all laughing, oh my God, he's like, Chris Farley, I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> what Chris Farley? I'm choking, right? On stage, and they're all like, hey, he's so funny, I'm like fucking dying. I saw my life flash before my eyes, Burger King, Wendy's, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, McDonald's. I don't leave you guys with this. It's funny, man. Every culture has its myths. And everybody's got everything that they got in their culture. I'll tell you right now. Every culture, I got one of my best friends. He's a cool Jamaican guy. Roy, 12 pack, good looking, actor. Babes go nuts for him. 
So he's bragging about all the women he gets. So he looks at me and he goes, hey, Tarukas, I want you to know something. I go, what? He goes, once they go black, they never go back. That's what he said to me. I go, yeah, Roy, well, let me tell you something, my friend. Once they go Greek, they don't sit for a week. I said, yeah, thank you so much, guys. Thank you for coming to the show. God bless you. Mwah!